guys back again with more shenanigans on the hunter called the wild and today I'm thinking about having a look at some side missions see what we can do there okay so let's have a look at these so harvest some springbok harvest three blue wildebeest that might be a lot of difficult I always struggle to come across I come across like both of these, so we can go see if we can do that one. It's just gonna be spotting, so let's just go do some of these. Alright. Oh, I can hear all the beasts. Still does not mean that I will spot them. Okay, so I've heard both the animals that I need to spot. So I just need to get up here and spot them. The behavioral reports on scrub hares and side strap jackals in Purple de Amber are concerning. The plateau is inaccessible to larger animals, so smaller species like hare and jackal have always flourished there. But both populations are outgrowing the balance of the environment. The hares reproduce so quickly they've, uh, what's the word, saturated the jackals, who can't eat them quickly enough. Without more aggressive predators to cull them, soon those hares will overpopulate the region. For their part, the lucky jackals are glutting themselves on easily accessible hair meat. That makes them slow, lazy, and more prone to threats from other predators who might enter the territory. Not to mention they could die out if the land can't sustain the hairs. So between motivating lazy jackals and pressuring happy scrub hairs, you've got work to do. Scrub hairs thinking about making more babies right now. It's a wonder they have time for anything else. That's one half of this devilish duo overrunning the plateau. Now find the other. Jackal thrives when it is competing within the food chain, not when it's the apex. That takes care of both parties and confirms that the reports of their activity are true. Now, before you go stirring up hares and jackals every which way, Let's give them a new pathway to migrate from the plateau. 
That broken bridge you fell from earlier. It's time to fix that safety hazard. Not only for people's sake, not only to restore a primary game trail, but also for you to take revenge against the bridge that dropped you. Just, you know, be careful up there. They say lightning never strikes the same place twice, but my friend, Jafar has been struck three times. I think you will have better luck than Jafar, though. <laughs> Fix that bridge. Okay, well that was pretty simple. So, the bridge is nearby. I know that. Just as well go to this bridge. Alright. And... It's by here, isn't it? I just want to go here first. Yeah, and that's the first thing. as well pick up a hail to on the way. Getting quite a few golds and different colours too. Can't complain.
many. at the scene of your peril. Truly, it is a wonder you didn't break both your legs in the fall. Further proof of your Noi lineage. Now use that magic to fix the bridge instead of falling off it. Now you can use this pathway. Harvest three side strap jackals from this region. Doing so will put the lazy dogs back on a lead. But this won't be that easy. Each jackal must be harvested with a hundred percent integrity. That will qualify them for a local dietary study, which will tell us how balanced, or in this case, imbalance their feeding habits have become. Okay.
This jackal is a perfect candidate for the study. Bring in two more like this. Okay. Something wrong with that one. Yeah, I know you're there. I can see you. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot you though. Just because I don't want to scare up any jackals. Another top shelf candidate, and the jackals are certainly on alert by now. Keep up the pressure and harvest one more premium jackal. Snuck up on a third one. This covers our needs for the dietary study. And already your brother's cameras are picking up increased jackal activity in the region. You've just reminded these lazy dogs to get.
get their blood pumping. Now I think you're ready for the ultimate challenge. These scrub hairs have a mischievous streak a mile wide. They're small, they're fast, and they're elusive. Harvesting five of them in Vipala de Amba will start the pressure that will eventually move them. But since there are so, so many of them, you can always harvest a few extra. With that in mind, let's test your mastery with small game. Show me you can harvest five scrub hairs in a single hunt. No distractions, full integrity on every one. Use a 22 shotgun with a birdshot, or a 300 grain arrow with a bow. And just in case you think that challenge is unfair, I tell you this. Five hairs is only a starting point. My best haul is more than four times that. You are lucky I'm asking for five. Okay. This, this shouldn't be that hard. Scrub haze. Oh, so close. Scrub his.
<laughs> going on the run. Yeah. Okay, I think that's the last two, isn't it? Four scrub hairs. One more to go. Already got him. in a row, just like grandfather taught you. That should drive some scrub hairs out of Vepaladi Amber. And from here, the jackals will be more wary, maybe a bit hungrier. But all things at Vuhonga come in cycles. To conserve the natural balance of the land, you must continue to tend the scrub hair and jackal populations. It might seem like you're spoiling a party for all the horny hares and fat jackals, but this isn't some hip bar in Joburg. It's the bush. Life out here may seem like a struggle, but those who can handle the struggle survive. You can handle it too, grandchild. That's why I'm so proud you're succeeding me. I think I will stop here, but I quite enjoy doing um, like side missions, like having something to achieve. <sighs> one last one, for fun. Okay guys, so yeah, I might do some more side missions, just because I enjoy them. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.